types of fibers because we know that here we can use a glass fiber but sometimes people use carbon fiber sometimes basalt fiber and different variations that can be there some synthetic fibers or whatever but most of the time in construction we use this one what is the difference between them? actually the difference are two uh, let's say Young's models always and uh, uh, tells us change that's the difference let's say for glass fiber yeah we can conclude that in, in our case in our production because different production can make a big difference in, in the product I told you about the end of the end product it's not about fiber itself we talk about the finished goods because uh, due to the process, due to the uh, binder they use it and different <laughs> sorry so uh, for glass fiber E is 65 for carbon fiber it can be 140 you see? almost still but the price can be like 5 times more there's a difference, yeah but some fiber, uh, difference in price not too big compared to glass fiber but the, let's say, uh, uh, Young's models can reach maybe something between it and uh, if we talk about the tensile strength for our material uh, this is uh, something like 1250 for carbon fiber it can reach uh, 350 megapascals so it's three times stronger something like that so that is why in special purpose projects you can choose what fiber you use but actually the process itself can be the same for extrusion this is our reinforcement reinforcement and here let's talk about binder binder here we use epoxy resin Yes, as I told you, it's like four different chemicals, but it's based on epoxy resin. Another thing is um, another thing can be polyester. Polyester. Another thing can be, let's say, vinyl ester. Uh, vinyl ester. What are the difference between them? Actually, the difference is really huge. Most of the time when you see uh, composite uh, products, let's say some bumpers, some, um, some covers, something like this, on borders or something, it's made of glass fiber and polyester resin because polyester resin minimum three times cheaper than epoxy minimum three times cheaper than epoxy and much cheaper than polyester resin and I can give you an example uh, first of all, chemical resistance. Uh, chemical chemical resistance. This is a maximum. This is medium, and this is let's say lower. Then tensile properties. Here is the maximum. Here is the same. So this is medium. This is what's a maximum, medium or lower. So when you, uh, when engineers they let's say they calculate a finished group, as they know what specific result they want to get, they can use different. So let's just compare tensile properties if we use glass fiber and epoxy and if we use glass fiber and polyester just for you to understand for epoxy it should be once 1250 megapascals for polyester it should be only 500 megapascals that's it, that's the difference 
and this is huge. Even if the glass fibers are the same, but this is, let's say, but this is for the end product, not for fibers, guys, for the end product. And why it is so? Why it is so? It's very easy to explain. As tensile properties of these materials are different, we can conclude that, as we told before, that binder just, just needs to distribute load between reinforcement. This is your bar. And this is a binder. Let's say you start to bend your bar. This is the force, bending force. It means that stress here much more than stress, let's say, here. And here is almost no stress for bending. So the purpose of the binder just to distribute force from here to here to here to here. Isn't it? But as we know, the tensile properties of this material are less tensile material less, it means that, uh, let's say, this layer can be destroyed faster than it distributes load on the second layer and third layer. This is just the principle, okay? This is not how it is, but more or less it's like, like this. So it means that our materials, uh, material, our fibers, they don't work together, they work separately, like small hairs, they can easily be breaking. That's it. So this is one purpose. Material is still cool, but the difference is so huge. Another thing uh, is I want to mention uh, chemical resistance. Is let's say chemical. Uh, first of all, uh, this uh, glass fibers. Uh, another thing, what happens when uh, once glass become a threat is that. Uh, chemical resistance of glass itself is not so big. Once it's like this, it's pretty cool because you know all the chemistry uh, dishes they made of glass. But uh, uh, for for this material, glass has no uh, such huge chemical resistance. So another thing for binder is just to cover glass to protect it from uh, let's say. Uh, acting of this chemical. So, uh, in, in terms of epoxy, it protects much more better than, uh, than polyester resin. So, if you compare our bar made of polyester resin and made of epoxy, first of all, tensile strength, the, the tensile strength is going to be lower. Another thing that uh, Due to if you talk about the lifespan, lifespan for a material made of uh, polyester is going to be lower. Why we have to talk about it? Because uh, within some time, I don't know, one year, two years, we're going to get competitors here who will, uh, let's say, who will uh, offer material that looks like this. The price is going to be lower, but you have to know that the quality and be much more lower and this is strictly prohibited to use this material like recommended for this one. This is pretty pretty important moment. 